In this video, I'm going to show you why Cover 9 is one of the most adjustable coverages in the game, how you can use it to slow down bunch tight end, especially with the latest patch update, and then making uh, escape artists significantly less effective or less powerful because of the fact that they cost so many AP. I wanted to break down this coverage defense that I was actually working on before we went into the kind of crisis of escape artists inside of the nickel normal defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. My name is Cody, and we do videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that, like I said, today I'm talking about the Nickel Normal in the 46 playbook. Uh, you could also run this out of the San Francisco playbook, and I've got a full defensive guide on this defense if you want to get access to that. Um, the cool part is you could just join our Patreon. My Patreon membership gives you access not only to the Nickel Normal ebook, but it actually gives you access to all 18 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to that, again, there's a link in the description below, and you can sign up for just 10 bucks. Okay, guys, let's take a look at Bunch Tight End real quick. And this is kind of where we're heading um, in terms of the fact with the latest patch with Escape Artist and everything that's going to be uh, getting ready to tweak in the game today. Uh, what you want to look at here is the Cover 9 coverage. And I'm going to show you why. And it really does do a really good job against Bunch compression sets. It's one of the reasons why I can't wait to get back into the Nickel Normal um, just because of everything that we can do from this. So... Um, one thing that I want to quickly point out, I'm going to show you a little bit, one of the things that I'm, I'm actually considering tweaking in my own defense here, but if you take a look here, we're going to put the cover nine in our auto. I was going to show you a little bit of a trick. So one of the reasons why I really, really like the nickel three, three, five, and specifically the nickel three, three, five white is because it allows me to cross man, um, two players in addition to having a user, which, because I can audible down from three, three, five normal. Well, I can actually do the same thing if I audible from 335 normal down into 335 wide. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. I get the safety subbed in, and then I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So if I come out and cover four drop, okay, and let's say I audible over to the nickel normal, cover nine, show two. Take a look at what happens here. You're going to notice that this guy goes to the linebacker or the defensive end position. Now, he will pretty much always... Uh, do that. He'll almost always go to that defense position. So we can then pinch our defense. But now if you take a look at this, we now have this guy who we can kind of put him on anyone on the field. So you see, I can man him up on anyone that I want. He's actually going to oftentimes do this little stand-up deal. You're never going to want to rush him because obviously he's a safety, but you can move him and man him on whoever you want to. So I thought that was something I wanted to just quickly point out to you guys. Um, if you want to do that, or you could put him in a curl flat and he'll play the curl flat really well. And then you can man this guy up if you wanted to do something like that. So those are some, a couple different things that you can do with this coverage just to get a, an additional plus one in coverage. So uh, what we're going to do with this, and this is what I like to do out of cover nine. Um, we're going to create kind of craft our own box check, if you will. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to outside quarter this left side corner. We're going to curl flat the safety uh, or not the safety but the nickel right there and then we're going to vert hook the defense event so you see we've kind of crafted a quarters or box check type of defense and then we still have that linebacker on the left side that we can do whatever we want with what i like to do is cross man him on the circle receiver um, but you can you can man him up on whoever you want but now you see you've cra crafted a cover nine coverage so what this does is it really does tailor the coverage so that it is designed to stop crossing routes. So if you take a look here, you're going to see here that the, the crossing route is really completely bagged. And then that's the main route. Uh, and I'll come back to that in just a second. Okay. So that's the main route that you kind of have to pay attention to, but you don't really have to worry about the crossing routes. So let me show you this one more time, specifically against boot over stock. And then we'll cover some of the concepts that they could bomb you with. So again, you just set your coverage up just like this. And then you can take this backside guy, like I said, and man him up on whoever you want. If you don't want to man him up on somebody, put him in a vert hook, and he'll play the vert hook really well. Um, there's just a lot you can do with that player. So you can easily just man him up on you know the square receiver if you wanted to, which is another either the square receiver or the, the other guy. So we're going to man him up on the square receiver right now. Um, and then again, I just want to show you P a bit over. We're not going to use or anything. I just want to show you. So if you watch Circle, Circle is kind of open, but not really. Crosser is kind of open, but not really. The post is one-on-one -on -one up top, okay? So how do we stop that post from being one-on-one -on -one up top? Well, the best way that I know how to stop that post from being one-on-one -on -one up top is we do need um, we do need 
the user over the top of it, in my opinion. I think that significantly helps. But the other thing is we could simply just man him up. So we just man up square and then, uh, or I'm sorry, not square, but uh, triangle. What that does is it communicates that this guy, you can bail back to the post. Okay, that's very helpful for how we're going to want to play this um, because what you're going to notice here is we're still going to get good coverage on the crosser. We're now going to have cross man coverage on that. And then what you should see here is a safety on the right side should get depth on the post. There you see he does gets depth on the post. And typically that will also work um, if we man up the, the, the uh, circle receiver. So if we man up, whoops, let me get my adjustments back. Um, so if we man up the circle receiver here, this is another reason why I think there's some value to leaving this vert hook occasionally. Um, if they're not running floods to, the, to that side, you might consider just leaving that vertical hook on the field. Um, but another thing that you could do is drop that guy, like I said, in the purple, and then you can take this backside linebacker and man him up on the circle receiver. So you see you've got two purples, which I really like because it does help significantly. It's a lot of different concepts. And then now you're going to have this right here. And you might want to spotlight you know, spotlight, um, oops, spotlight the square receiver, kind of help the coverage a little bit. Uh, but what you should see here is that post have a little bit of a difficult time. Okay, so now what we can do is I want to talk about the bomb. And this is where this really becomes very good. So um, against the coverage beaters of this formation, what we can easily do with this like for example, the the slant, the the slant, um, the post, and then the bomb, um, basically the same exact coverage. So, same exact coverage. We're gonna just go ahead and take this guy and man him up on the circle. If we see this, obviously we can get depth too. By the way, so we see this, we can get depth because we're not really a worry of escape bars. But notice that inside quarter right there. Do you see how the inside quarter went right to the skinny post? That's one of the real advantages to this coverage um, is that you have that inside quarter available to be able to go defend something like that. And that's really, I think, one of the better reasons why this coverage is so good. Now, the other thing that I like about this is, let's say they go to curl flat corner. And this is why I really like to man up the circle receiver as, as much as possible. The reason I like to man up the circle receiver here is because when they go to something like this right here, um, you wanna make sure that your match coverage will get out. So something like this, you'll see this outside quarter do a really good job of getting over there, getting depth, driving on the route, and kind of taking care of that for you out of this cover nine coverage. So again, just a real simple coverage that you can use. All you're doing is outside courting that guy, purpling that guy, and then you can feel free to adjust your defensive line however you want to uh, based off of tendency. Uh, so again, you get something like this right here. You could, uh, you know, you could even go if you're facing a lot of curl flat corner. It's probably better to man up the outside receiver in this because you got the deep half right there. And then you see, look how good that, look how clean of a match you get on that when you do that. So that's, you know, again, the better the man coverage you have on the player, the better this is gonna work out for you. Like the better man coverage that you have uh, over on that, at that uh, linebacker position, the better this is all gonna work for you, okay? Uh, because he's not gonna get burned on the skinny post out of, and really the only one that they really have is like boot over. So you're gonna be in this area user-wise, you can bail. See how when you're there, that safety oftentimes will bail back. So you see you've got double coverage on the post. You've got great coverage on that. And now the rollout is, I mean, you still have to worry about the rollout. You just don't have to worry about it as much. And what we're hoping is that we can just simply send the spy or send the send the three rec kind of thing at the quarterback. Spies this year are really not that good. Um, that's why I don't really spy. That's why I would much rather just purple on every play. Um, have the I think the curl flat zone is one of the better zones in the game. So what will happen here is we're going to get out of the pocket. Now I'm going to click the spy, and you see that because he doesn't have an escape artist, it's a little bit better. Now again, it's Brady; he's not super fast, but you are you are going to have 90 some speed guys out there. Escape artist is really what glitches that out, and so we're hoping that again because they don't have escape artist now, or it's very unlikely them to have it you're going to have a little bit better of a chance of defending this. So this is just a concept, again, and it stops majority of what people are going to do. It doesn't stop everything that they're going to do, but it does stop the majority. It's a great base call against this coverage, and it allows us to use our cross manning. Um, you don't have to have a guy here. If you want to come out nickel normal and just put the guy in a purple, you can. But this guy is going to react much better in coverage, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to be able to use him in coverage. 
and then I can still get into three through five wide, of course, if I want to situationally. Um, and then again, I've got this right here. So it gives me a really complete defense. And you see here, again, if that guy doesn't bail back, you've got to get back on that. Um, just And again, it's more of a deep out elite versus a low overall player than it is anything else. So you got a good guy there that can play a man cover. She's going to be able to get back on that ball and uh, take it away. So that is the cover nine or cover eight defense that I like to run. Uh, specifically against bunch tight end. If you are really worried about boot over, just put Scott in a deep third. Um, if you if you really are feeling like you know they're just going to run boot over stock, because the inside quarter is going to go play boot over um, the bomb version of it. It's so like if they go to something like this right here. What you'll see here, the curl flat and the outside quarter will defend that well. Watch that inside quarter right there. You see he'll bail back to that post, and you're going to be able to stop that. So. Really, really solid little defense here for PA boot over and the bunch tight end. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Try out this nickel normal. When you combine it with the 325 normal and the 325 wide, I think you're going to find that it's a really, really good defense for a lot of different reasons. It adds a lot of flexibility to your defensive scheme, and it allows you to be able to use all the matching coverages and still have really good players that are going to react to routes and be able to get into the passing lane. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the Nickel Normal full defensive guide, uh, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership in the description below. For just $10 a month, you're going to be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks, every exclusive update that I do, which we typically do uh, several times a week. We update those memberships and then also any new eBooks that we release while your subscription is active. So thanks for watching. If you want to sign up for the membership, there's a link in the description below where you can do that.